Pippen plays it out to Spooner. Spooner tips it in. Henning is in front of him. Dill is Oh, and the goaltender! Body still! And now Dill is going to go after the goaltender. And now it's oh, Everybody's in it. Zaleski. Zaleski gets hold of McCarthy. They're going at it. Dill is in a pile. Actually, Zaleski and Dill have just got tied each, tied each other up. Dill. Oh, Dill lands a shot. Dill got bodied by the goalie. There was going to be an interference call, I'm sure. Dill did not body the goaltender. It was the other way around. Dill got up to go after the goalie. And one of the dashers, it might have been Huggett, jumped in to go loose. Huggett wants to go with Dill, and the goalie won't let him go. The goalie won't let Dill go. And now Pace jumps Dill, and Tully grabs Pace from behind. Tully has got Huggett now. McCarthy and Zaleski finally break up. Dill is still grabbed by the goaltender. Zaleski and McCarthy tired each other out, holding each other. There hasn't been a punch thrown. Everything is just wrestling. Spooner is tied up with Henning. And he's got a big size advantage on Kobe Spooner. Dill wants to go at somebody. Dill is all cut up. Dill is looking to help out one of his brothers. Now Spooner and Dolan's in the corner. Dolan's, oh, Spooner, Spooner, Spooner. Three good left hands. Spooner, a Brockport boy. He catches a couple from Hennings. And now Dill has got a hold of somebody. Gordon, oh, and Dill is batting. And now Henning is going at it. Skinner is tied up by her Stearns. And McCarthy and McCarthy and Zaleski out in the middle of the ice. Skinner in the corner. Spooner and Dig Higgins are collapsed, touching it, congratulating each other. And McCarthy and Dill, uh, Zaleski, Zaleski's got Dill down. Dill is still throwing punches now. McCarthy has got Dill's jersey and he's skating around with it. And now Zaleski's gonna go after him. And now Henning, Henning goes after Dill, after McCarthy. Skinner's gonna go over and jump in. Everybody's a third man. Everybody's a third man. Over in the corner, Dill is held by the referee. Matt Anthony is kneel down in his crease. This was a doozy. Zaleski still after McCarthy. The deal with the jersey was great. The deal with now somebody's yapping at Dill. Tippin is getting Dill off the ice. I have never seen the jersey deal like that. That was great. That was great. Now Pace is coming over to talk to Dale, to uh, Tippin, and Skinner heading to a punch. Oh, Skinner is, now the goaltender. This goalie's got to go. This goalie has jumped in again. Somebody needs to rip his mask off and pop him. I can't tell which one of the dashers that is. His jersey is off. Skinner landed a couple of good hands on the back of somebody's head. Now Zaleski is going to the box. It's got to, I think it's Stern. It looks like Stern. McCarthy is in the box. I know the Zaleski family is watching. They always do. Um... Jamie had a good one, folks. Skinner and McCarthy are waving for the fans to cheer him on. Henning's in the box. Skinner's in the box. Spooner's in the box. This guy ought to be in the box, and he's skating back to the net. He's the guy that started everything. Pace just put Zaleski's Shoulder pads back to him.
But this goaltender is the one that started it all. He grabs he grabbed Dill. He body checked Dill. He got the first penalty. It should be an interference penalty on the goaltender. Dill got up to go after the goaltender, and one of his defensemen stopped him. Barr is still skating loose. I knew Barr. I saw Barr throw a punch. He's still skating loose. He's looking for equipment. Ouellette is out there picking up equipment. What they should do. Oh, down at the bench. Now there's probably at the bench. Gordon Van Wiesberg. I don't know. And Brad Dill. Brad Zangs. Now the backup goalie is in it. Craig Cole out there pulling the backup goalie out of the way. Now Tippin is out there. Van Wiesberg was swinging at somebody from the bench. I don't know who this clown is that's coaching this team. They do not have a coach. And now somebody somebody is slipping at Dill, at, at Tippin, it's Ozelins. Oh, it's Snyder. Snyder made a comment to Tippin. Tippin said, come on, let's go out. What they should do is each official should take one guy at a time and make him pick up his own junk. <laughs> we need some security members at the penalty box. Some of our... It looks like some of our fans are getting a little restless over there. And I they still can't believe they're not going to give this Snyder any penalty. He should be in the box. If you had a fighting penalty, you should have to serve that major. He was involved in four scuffles that I know of. Careful of the wire. While it's not fair to the backup goalie to have to go in cold, he's okay. While it's not fair for the backup goalie to go in cold, when the goaltender gets in four fights, he should be sitting in the bench too. It's all, they're all delayed penalties. My man Steve just asked me what happens to all these guys. They will all be on delayed penalties. Well, actually, if they give everybody majors, they all serve their majors. They could be all coincidentals, except there was an original penalty call on the goaltender for interference. He body checked Dill away from the puck. And goaltenders can't do that. If they want to be protected, they can't throw checks if you can't check them back. Now let's see, I see one, two, three. The privateers have got three players. This is gonna take a while for them to figure out what they're gonna do. The people that sell the t-shirts and the people that sell the beer have closed up their shops and have gone and they just missed the best part of the game. Captain Chase, Kate, Chase Tippin is now over with the referee by the penalty box. Actually, he shouldn't be there. The referee just told the linesman, Quigley down under, just told him to get out of the area. Boy George, our stat keeper, is down. Well, actually, boy do, Quigley down under is with Boy George. Steve, see if you can get the blood on the referee's shirt. Yeah, there we go. The linesman has got blood on his shirt. Jeff Dill has been thrown out of the game. And I'm not sure why, because you know what? He's standing there in his, in his he's got his equipment, well, he's got his pants and skates on. He got the hook, and now, Huggett is leaving. 
the ice. Seleski is leaving the ice. Uh-oh, this could get bad. Henning is... Seleski and Huggett looks like they've been ejected. How you doing, Jamie? I already did, Jamie. I already did. Jamie Zaleski just told me to make sure to say hi to his mom, which I already have. Henning is leaving. Barr is leaving. I figured he was going to go. That was a doozy. Jamie Zaleski is one of my favorite guys in this league. I don't care what team he plays for. Dill is walking around, and I'm not sure why Dill, unless he was told to break things up and he didn't, because he was the one that was body checked. He was the one that was, well, he was going after the goalie, but one of the defensemen, and I think it was, I think it was Huggett actually, jumped him uh, to keep him from getting the goaltender, but the goalie had him from the back and didn't let go through two or three tussles and, um, I got to tell you, and this is not derogatory, this is single A hockey. I love it. I was brought up on this stuff and been in the game for 60 years, and it's because of this kind of stuff. All right, now, Trombley and Soskin are over in the referee's circle with Ouellette and Tippin. And let me see. I see one, two, three, four. I see five privateers. The penalty boxes are empty because they gave everybody the hook. The only problem with that is the privateers have got 12 minutes and 52 seconds to uh, defend a two goal lead. It's three to one, 12.52 to go. And the privateers don't have, well, let's see, one, two, three, four. They have six players. They have one extra skater. So, the, the scenario is the dashers could just flat wear the privateers out. And here comes Snyder over to the bench. And um, I don't know how many dashers are left. I count one, two, three, four. Oh, they got plenty. They got two or three reserves. This is definitely a game that I'm going to go home and watch on the icar archives of live sports video. Because that was, that was fun. Not as wild as the riot in Alex Bay with the Aquasasti Warriors where me and my cameraman got jumped. Neither does get a five for fighting. And a two-minute roughing. Jamie Zaleski gets five in the game. Huggett gets five in the game. Henning gets five in the game. And Barr gets a game in a misconduct. I mean, a fighting in a, in a game. Excuse me. The, back, the backup goaltender receives a game misconduct for leaving the bench. Chris McCarthy gets five in a game. Dill gets five in the game. Colby Spooner gets five in the game. Tully gets five in the game. <laughs> oh! Skinner gets a game. A game for leaving the bench and a five for fighting. That's nasty. That's tough. That's a tough one. 
All right. The the one that I'm not sure about is all these guys got games for going it back and going back and going back into the fight. Nider started the fight and he got a five for fighting and it in a interference penalty. But he did not get a game and he went he was involved in every one of the fights. He grabbed one of the privateers from back. And <laughs> I, Steve, get a picture of Dill down. Can you get a picture of Dill down? Jeff Dill is walking around with this big cowboy hat. And we're going to see if uh, Steve can get him on the camera. Dill is a real character. That, and that Skinner for leaving the bench, that may, Skinner and the uh, backup goalie for the Dashers may get a suspension for leaving the bench. I am not sure of the uh, rule in this league on that. But that was certainly a doozy. And a lot of the fans are down on the floor around the boards. 